I'm going to compress the brutal truths and lessons from seven years of helping pre-meds get into medical school into this one video. I've helped hundreds of pre-meds get into their dream medical schools, medical schools like UCLA and UCSF, and these seven brutal truths are exactly how I got them there. Brutally honest truth number one, medical schools want to see it is the most dangerous assumption to make. In truth, there are very few things that medical schools across the board want to see. Strong stats, impact on your extracurriculars, and a strong theme and narrative. So if you have thousands of meaningless hours as a hospital volunteer, scribe, or EMT, those do not count. When you aren't passionate about an activity, it comes across in how you write about the activity, how you talk about the activity in an interview, in the lack of impact in the activity itself. Don't do things you don't care about, especially if other pre-meds care more about them than you. You are playing a losing game in another person's home court. Do things that you care about because this is where you will be world-class where you will be number one in your own lane. Being really good at the things that are in your domain are how you stand out to your dream medical schools. And remember, the best way to get a sense of what good looks like is to read real, successful, complete applications. In the description box below, I've linked eight full applications, always free and available for you to read. These applications got into schools like UCSF, UCLA and UC San Diego. And it even includes my own application. Brutally honest truth number two, being pre-med is not an excuse to neglect the other parts of your life. An infamous Reddit comment shares this fantastic pre-med paradigm. Sleep more than you study, study more than you party, party as much as you can. And really having a foundation outside of school is not really that complex. Sleep eight to nine hours a night, have 150 minutes per week of moderate to intense exercise, and eat a balanced, protein-rich diet with plenty of fruits and vegetables. Brutally honest truth number three, know your three Ps, people, population, problems. You must be known for something, and the easiest way to hone in on this is the three P framework. What people do you serve best? What problem are you most interested in serving? And what population do you envision yourself making a huge impact in? My application revolved around Vietnamese and Hispanic immigrants and helping them access care. Steve's application was around incarcerated youth and incarcerated adults, helping them earn degrees so that when they were released, they could acclimate to society with marketable skills and marketable job opportunities. Brutally honest truth number four, give the gunners some grace. Medical school admissions is a high stress environment prone to insecurity. Gunners aren't born rotten. They get there after competing in such a competitive arena where they feel like they need to protect some part of their ego. You don't need to be better than them or prove that you're cooler, more moral, or socially apt. Try to understand them. You don't need to be their best friend, but hate takes away from your own priorities and your own goals. And oftentimes, these people will be your colleague. Brutally honest truth number five. Breadth, then depth not the other way around. When you're early in your journey, you want to try everything. This is when you learn what people, what problem, and what populations that you truly care about. In addition to Vietnamese and Hispanic populations, teaching and mentorship became one of my core pillars. And I dedicated multiple extracurricular activities, multiple leadership positions, all towards being world-class in that space. That was my lane and that's what I stood out for. And still to this day, I make YouTube videos to help pre-meds get into medical school. Know your lane and be world-class in it. The great thing about this is that you can choose your lane. You can choose the game you want to play and excel in. You're not forced to be the world's greatest pre-med researcher or the greatest pre-med social justice advocate. You can choose what you want to be known for. Brutally honest truth number six, have perspective. It takes at least 11 years from being a freshman and undergrad to becoming a fully credentialed attending. 11 years ago, you were seven years old playing four square and handball on a playground. And in 11 and more years, you may very well be an independent doctor. So appreciate the time it takes. You won't publish a high impact paper in three months. You'll work very hard every single day for three months, but remember these projects can take years. Do not forget what time scale you're operating on. You won't earn shadowing after sending one email 
most likely not even after sending 10. You'll have to send hundreds of emails for your first few opportunities. This is why it is so important to have mentors, to have people who have done it before and have helped others just like you do the exact same thing. These mentors have some sort of realistic expectation on what things should take. And when you have that perspective, you're no longer surprised by just how much work it takes to be successful. And if you feel alone and in the dark and are struggling to figure out what to do with your pre-med journey, you're not alone. This is the exact experience that our pre-med catalyst mentorship program was designed to solve. We'll figure out your theme, intentionally build your application accordingly. Most importantly, always have a support system in your corner to help you make the right decisions. If you're finding this video helpful, you'll likely benefit from our mentorship program. More details in the link in the description box below. And brutally honest truth number seven, not everything has to be pre-med related. As I've met more medical students, more residents, and more attendings, I've realized that most people's career center around some sort of niche or skill that they do better than everyone else. Dr. Hofer has built an entire career around big data and anesthesiology. Dr. Levine has built an immersive simulation curriculum and is one of the experts in simulation and medicine in the entire country. Heck, when Dr. Martins is not in the OR, he's a DJ playing at EDM festivals. Greatness in any domain often begets greatness in other domains, and I wish I did more in the arts languages, computer sciences, business and marketing, fields outside of just strictly science and medicine. So if you have any other interests, pursue them. Mastery is always welcome, no matter what the domain is. This is why you see Olympians or former elite journalists enter and become doctors. Mastery is translatable because the building blocks of mastery, habits, skills, and mindsets are transferable to other spaces. So lean into your passions and what makes you you, even if it's not directly translatable to medicine. These were the seven brutal truths and lessons from seven years of helping pre-meds get into their dream medical schools. Thanks for watching.